Hello, it's uh, it's me again. I'm just making this little uh, trip OSR uh, video. Um, it's just showing off this cool new uh, uh, node called uh, ComfyUI Floaty Trip OSR. Uh, it basically takes an image and turns it into a 3D object. This is like similar to that uh, video on Triplane Gaussian, but this is actually made by uh, Fast AI, I believe. It's uh, open source. Actually, I think this might be stability. I'm not really sure, but you can uh, download the model on their uh, their website, I believe. Actually, it looks like it's developed by both Trippo and Trippo made Trip Trippo gosh, I don't know actually. I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, but you can get the uh, models from. You go to the uh, the. I'll leave this in the description, but if you can get that, and then you can uh, you can download it right uh, here. Let's just download it from this this page here, and then uh, I'll probably make a link for that as well. So this is the workflow. I've been having some issues with it. Um, if you have a bunch of nodes, just uh, maybe just try um, starting a new comfy, uh, uh, new uh, new comfy install, and then um, just try. Cause I've been having issues where the Tripo SR viewer uh, doesn't show up. It says that the uh, local won't uh, isn't allowing it to show up. I haven't really found a fix for that yet. But uh, basically, once you get the uh, the models. Um, you can just uh, add it there. And then usually I set this to CUDA. I think CPU is probably fine. I mean, at least I have a decent enough CPU. And then for the image, I'm going to use this this uh, bunny, this crazy fire bunny, uh, just to see. We'll just see what happens. Um, let me see if I can pull that in here. All right, so we got that, that bunny. And then uh, uh, you can also mess with these settings here. I'm going to let it run once, uh, hopefully. I've been having issues with my PC crashing tonight, so let's just see if this works. Uh, so far, it looks good. I really hope this doesn't crash. Uh, yeah, so um, basically, yeah, so it goes through. There's two different workflows. I'll probably share those as well. Um, let me pull up the workflows. So this is what the uh, file looks like. I don't know if you guys want to watch that, but so there's the image. It's not bad. It's not. I mean, there's like a little thing on the back, but you can uh, mess with these thresholds. Like if you lower the threshold, if you lower it to like ten, I think uh, it'll make it sharper. I think. Yeah, it makes it a little bit, sh or maybe not. Sh it's like lower. It lowers the threshold, whatever that means. And then you can increase the resolution by increasing this, but uh, I got it up to 512. Hey, uh, it's me again. Uh, so that uh, just crashed. Um, it probably won't crash on your computer because uh, your, your computer's probably better than mine right now. I don't know why my PC keeps crashing. It's probably like some static or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yours should work at 512 and potentially uh, 1024. I'm not, I haven't gotten it. That might be like, the bigger issue if you like your card doesn't have enough VRAM. I don't know how much VRAM this actually uses. I can check that I guess. Um, uh, so we can check that right here. So uh, set that up right there. Um, and then we'll hit the button to see how much VRAM it does. Oh, we gotta load the model again. Just like a typical thing. Um, then we'll let, run this here. So looks like it gets up to 3.4, and then uh, I guess it doesn't use that much VRAM. I thought it used a lot more, but so um, I guess for the model, you should use like a model with like really good lighting, and then uh, you can kind of mess around with it. I'm assuming as we uh, continue to uh, progress this throughout this week, probably. I bet by the end of the week we'll have some. Uh, new nodes with mesh inputs and outputs and then we can get some really cool stuff moving with this that would be really something I'd be really happy to see that um yeah so uh just uh this is super cool I mean it's it's always super cool and you can just take an image and get an, an object like a mesh out of it you know you can use that for games or 3d prints or you know whatever there's just a lot of opportunity this is so much cooler than stable zero just because like it gives you the whole and you can just drag it all around all you want 
so yeah and um it it's pretty high quality i'd say look at that look at that that's that's pretty impressive huh like the light i don't know where the lighting is coming from but that's pretty i don't know what this is but maybe it thinks it has a tail or something i don't know but uh yeah so uh have fun with that i'll i'll leave hopefully everything in the description uh yeah thanks all right bye